BASF Plant Health 2020 Video Series, Advanced Stress Mitigation and Unmatched Disease Control, Validated with On-Farm Trials. I'm John Schultz, Technical Service Rep for BASF in Arkansas and the Boot Hill, Missouri. I'm here today in a cornfield that is not quite to tasseling yet, but we're well on our way. And I want to discuss a little bit about southern rust with you. Southern rust is a disease in corn that comes into the southern U.S. typically brought in by a tropical storm system or wind coming off of a more southern area that has host for the disease. For the U.S., it normally begins in the south-southeast and moves more northward and inland as the season progresses. We usually look at the, to the south of us to see what the potential for the disease to move into our area is. There's a very helpful website that will help you map the movement of southern rust. It is corn.ipmpike.org. Morning dew or a light rain is a necessity for spore germination and infection. When conditions are right, you can see symptoms three to six days after the infection. And by seven to 10 days, those pustules will start to rupture and release the next generation of rust spores. Ideal conditions for the disease growing and infecting are warm morning temperatures of around 75 degrees and daytime highs of 93 degrees or higher, in addition to four consecutive hours of leaf wetness. Southern rust can develop in less than these ideal conditions that I just described, but it will be a slower progression than if it was those perfect ideal conditions. As far as identification goes, southern rust is most often confused with common rust. Southern rust pustules are circular to oval shaped and they're orange in color and often encircled by a light green halo. It is also almost exclusively found on the upper leaf surface, but in severe infestations it can also be found on the stalk and on the ear shut. Common rust pustules are red, but they can often be mistaken to be orange when you have the right lighting condition. It is found most often in that lower canopy, but it, sometimes it can be found a little higher. Common rust is common to both sides of the leaf, whereas southern rust is only one direction, so it only has rust on one side of the leaf, and that is the upper surface. As far as fungicide applications, Veltima is the newest corn fungicide from BASF. It's an extremely effective fungicide, and I'm super excited to see it put to use by you. The optimum timing for plant health and fungicide activity is at full tassel. That's when I recommend applying Veltima at seven to 10 fluid ounces to the acre. This will be prior to disease onset in most cases, which is where Veltima truly performs best. If you have any questions about Veltima fungicide for your corn, please reach out to one of us uh, and for your local BASF representative. We're here to help and glad to help however we can. Thank you so much. To learn more about how BASF plant health fungicides perform in your backyard, visit RevXFields.com. Experience the difference.